Subharmonic plots help us visualize stationary and transitional tensions in harmony. This video summarizes the basics of how musical components and stationary tension may be visualized in subharmonic plots using the example of Per Hill Bell's Canon. It also serves as a preparatory to another video, which summarizes how transitional tensions may be visualized in a more advanced analysis. We take each note of a song and plot its fundamental period in the vertical axis. We can visualize the melody of the song. Each note in the audible range has a spot on the vertical axis of the subharmonic plot. We can continue plotting the rest of the subharmonic periods for this note and the rest of the notes in the first chord. The vertical positions where a subharmonic from each note converges is called the common subharmonic. Our ears identify with the shortest common subharmonic periods. We find the common subharmonics for each chord and measure imperfection in convergence of its subharmonics. We call this stationary subharmonic tension or delta T and use it as an indicator of the degree consonance or dissonance of stationary chords. Major chords have lower subharmonic tension than their minor counterparts and sevenths have higher tension than triads. Results display a strong positive correlation with empirical results from Schwartz and Johnson-led, as cited in Stolzenberg.